Everything we do as African people has roots and an origin. For decades now in Africa and the United States of America, there was much more to the head wrap than just being a beautiful scarf filled with colors and different styles. Hello besties and welcome to another video on African history, perceptions and culture. As a descendant of the African cloth adorned by melanated African brothers and sisters, the origin of the head wrap can be traced back to Africa. It is where our people embodied the most precious form of identification and individualism, as it was often used to convey modesty, spirituality, and prosperity. <laughs> A person wearing an African head wrap back then will often exude their stand in life and society. Historians have linked the practice of head wrapping to the royalties of the pharaonic times. There is actually a great deal of heliographic evidence showing that pharaohs wearing head wraps or covering of their heads with the African cloth or wig made from specific material to signify a deep meaning. We can also see from some of their ancient paintings how the royals were depicted wearing headdresses and crowns always. African head wraps worn by women can often tell if she is a mother, a wife, a widow, a grandmother, or a member of the royal family. So, without segregating this discourse, I think we can conclusively say that our relationship with the head wrap is our crowning glory and in every essence captures who we are. No matter where you travel on the African continent, you are bound to bump into people wearing a rainbow of head wraps. As a child, I knew how to tie a head wrap before I could properly tie my shoelaces. A significant fragment of our African identity took a downfall during the dark days in our history. Unfortunately, when our brothers and sisters were taken away from us into slavery, the head wrap went from being a symbol of loyalty and pride to a badge of enslavement. In some parts of Africa and the African diaspora, Western overlords imposed wearing of head wraps to ensure that Africans do not pass as Westerners. They were also told to shave off their beautifully and naturally called African hair to further establish this claim. As the resistance and revolution for African hair movement began to take center stage, African hair and head wrap quickly became a brave helmet of courage and an image of their true homeland. This is how they reclaimed their sense of dignity and higher consciousness in all its regal magnificence. Our relationship with the head wrap is more than just a cover up for a bad hair day or a convenient way to look elegant but it is a heroic symbol of communal identity and a uniform of rebellion, which our ancestors proudly wore in solidarity against their loss 
of self-definition and conformity. African women were pressured to wear it to work as uniform and to a large extent they presumed that this will be an identifier to further ensure that African women would be easily recognized from the masses. It is not until the 1970s when the Black Power Movement propelled the African head wrap back into style in the United States of America. During the times of integration, celebrities such as Erica Badeau, Lauren Hill made the head wrap a colorful comeback in the 1990s. As of recent though, popular African designer and self-taught head wrap stylist Maureen Kiseri has been making rounds on social media with her various styles of slick and elaborate head wraps which can be paired with adornments. African head wraps communicated a matriarchal image and powerful presentation of female sophistication and beauty. Having said that, I would not do much justice if I do not give an honorable mention to our opposite counterparts of African origin. Like in many African communities, it is not uncommon to find a man wearing a head wrap. Although theirs may not rival those of their sisters, they do carry great value and command for respect. One thing is for sure, head wraps have come a long way, both in time and in distance. It is without a doubt that by the look of things, they will remain for many more years to come. So as our cultures grows, so did the revival of the African cloth. In Nigeria, for example, we have the fascinating gele, and according to my opinion, the gele is the ultimate queen of African head wraps by far. The evolution of head wraps pose immense cultural value as observed across many cultures in Africa and the diaspora. Our creativity and individualism always shines through and overcomes despite the challenges we face. In Ghana and Malawi, they call it the Dukus, but just keep in mind that it might differ as you get to discover the native communities. In Namibia and most of Southern Africa in general, women call their head wraps Duk, Oshikewa, or Bandana, as we can relate to. The Herero women in Namibia are world renowned for wearing Victorian like dresses. They adorn their bodies with neat and beautifully designed traditional gowns accompanied by Oshikeiba. They have also one of the most unique and underrated head wraps in Africa. The beautifully shaped head wrap indicate their ancestral connection to the cow or ongobe according to their folk tradition. Like many cultures across the continent, Oshikeva has revolved over the years. Different colors and pattern tells a captivating and thought-provoking tale. And if you have had a pleasure of attending a traditional Oshierero wedding, you will be fully immersed in one of the most beautiful African cultures. Waring to our brothers and sisters from Botswana who call it the Duki, I'm actually mind blown by the similar but yet diverse ways in which the head wrap are adorned across the African continent. Did you know that in the Kosa and Zulu tradition, women cover their heads as a sign of respect to their in-laws. While many still surf the internet on how to tie the head wrap, there is a fragment of our communities 
that opt to buy the pre-tied ones. It doesn't matter what kind of hairstyle you have on, you can literally wear the African head wrap with short hair, long hair, braids, bangs and everything else in between. So just remember that every time you wrap your African cloth around your head, be reminded of our ancestors and their generations who covered their head as a legacy of unbreakable people and a dare to demand for justice. If you like informative and educational videos on Namibia and Africa in general, be sure to subscribe with post notifications on. Till I come your way next time, tell your authentic African story. Bye besties!